Questo è Dominator 28M Illumin. This is the Dominator 28 meter Illumin, but we prefer to call it by its name Cadet 5, as every Dominator yacht is custom built for its owner. The hull, the decks and the structural elements that compose it are obviously defined by the design of the model. But anyone who decides to build an Illumin can choose the internal structures, which can be completely redefined. You can move structural bulkheads, change the number of cabins and their position, as well as decide on custom-made furniture. Also, you can choose the propulsion system and consequently the performance of your yacht. Further, the fuel capacity of the tanks and therefore the range of the yacht can all be decided by the prospective buyer. On an epoxy resin construction of this size, it is extremely rare to have such an unlimited range of customization options. The large interior spaces of this yacht are enclosed by distinctive architecture with sharp lines, windows, features, colours and overhangs that seem to wave certain parts of the structure. Through the astonishing exterior design by Alberto Mancini, features and details that are usually found only on mega yachts were transformed onto this 28-metre yacht with its raised pilot house. Can you imagine a better flying bridge? The outside dining area can be transformed into a sun deck by converting the seat backs and the table into one big sunbed. Additionally, an outside bar area, a barbecue grill, fridges and an ice maker offer everything needed on the fly, which can be fully customised according to your needs. Even a jacuzzi can be installed. Walking along the side's walkways and up the staircase that leads to the bow, we reach the sunbathing area and the owner's private terrace above the owner's cabin at the bow. A beach area with convertible diving platform is created by opening the garage door. Where the most vertical stern offers a lot of space and storage area. Cadet 5's interior offers a range of truly customised pieces, designed and carefully selected by interior designer Luca Catino. When entering the salon, your attention is drawn to the mesmerising interior design. Tailor-made sofas form the centre of the salon and can be gathered around the table in different ways to create a cosy, sophisticated atmosphere. As the sofas are modular, they can be arranged along the sides of the salon to accommodate a party with many guests. Floor-to-ceiling windows offer a spectacular panoramic view and illuminate the salon with natural light. A lot of consideration went into the selection of fine woods, with tones of grey and blue oak, and customised blue palisander. This attention to detail even extends to the stitching of the sofa and the custom colour and design of the parquet. When choosing a Dominator, you do not only build a yacht, you build a unique luxurious residence on the sea, created especially for you. This is a sculpture of renowned Lorenzo Quinn, creator of the stunning monumental hands recently displayed in Venice. Entriamo. Let's go to the owner's cabin located at the bow, the heart of every Illumin. The full beam cabin was extended by over a metre to offer an extremely spacious private area and was designed with input from the customer. Another mesmerising artwork by Stefano Curto featuring thousands of Swarovski crystals is the centrepiece of the cabin and shines differently from every angle thanks to the natural light flooding the cabin through the side windows and the moonroof above the bed. You can admire the sea, the panoramic view and the sky. I don't remember having ever seen a yacht of this size with such a detailed design. The bathroom features a handmade mosaic by Italian manufacturer Sicis. And what makes this cabin truly spectacular is the access to the private bow terrace on the main deck. On this 28-metre Illumin, the owner chose a three-cabin lower layout. 
the stern, there is a full beam VIP cabin comparable with the size of the owner's cabin. Also here, the furnishing is special. Pearl grey parquet accentuated by darker commento edging provides a soft palette for the bluer gat stone recessed on the walls. This offers a cosy, relaxing and luxurious atmosphere. Even the fabric of the bed covers has the same tones as the furniture of this cabin. Then there are two further cabins on the lower deck. On the starboard side, one VIP cabin with queen bed, and the port side VIP cabin has two separate beds with the option of an additional Pullman bed. But as mentioned, all interior layout and furniture solutions can be completely changed. Each cabin on the lower deck, of course, also has an ensuite bathroom. The finishing of these steel parts is marvellous. The crew quarters are situated at the bow through a separate access and include a crew dinette and kitchen. One captain cabin with two beds and another crew cabin with a bunk bed that sleeps two additional crew. An unbelievable array of seawater toys in this category. The yacht is equipped with a Williams Jet Tender 395, a Sea Do Spark Jet Ski, two Sea Bobs in customised designs, and an electric wakeboard. It doesn't matter from where in the world you are watching us, if you are thinking of getting a Dominator Illumin built for you, the Shipyard's Bespoke team is ready to meet you anywhere to start creating your unique yacht. I find it fascinating to be able to follow the construction of your own yacht, seeing it take shape. So how are these yachts built? This is, in many ways, up to your personal needs as well. But the high-performance hull is always a high-tech construction in glass and carbon fibre composite, mixed with post-cured epoxy resin to the full use of epoxy filler cycle and the application of the Allcraft painting cycle. This is incomparable to the common gel coats and polyester fiberglass usually used on yachts of this size. The internal spaces are superior compared to other hulls of this size, mainly because of the innovative construction method. According to shipyard data, this carbon fibre epoxy resin hull has around 25% less weight compared to other hulls in the same category. And the stress resistance of this construction is eight times higher than that of the steel hull. A sandwich construction method offers further advantages, such as noise reduction. Here in the wheelhouse, there is absolute silence. Fine, we are at minimum 600 RPM, at a speed of six knots. The shipyard grants the owner an endless range of on-customization options, which also includes the propulsion system. You can choose power and performance according to your needs. For long distances, there is a propulsion system calibrated for greater efficiency at low speed. Or you opt for a higher cruising speed instead. It all depends on the reduction of the inverter and the size of the propellers. And of course, on the power of the engines. Here, on this 28-metre Illumin, we have two-man V8 engines with 1,200 horsepower. They are the latest generation engines, 16.2 litres, eight-cylinders common rail power supply. It's a semi-displacement hull and, at minimum speed, this means that at six knots with an overall consumption of only eight litres, on an hour of fuel. This way we could cover almost 10,000 miles. The hydrodynamic blade bulbous bow, a characteristic of the Illumin, serves to reduce the advance resistance at low speeds.
Il cantiere è così sicuro di questi metodi di costruzione. For enhanced stability, safety and performance, every aluminum has a double bottom with structural tanks. Those for fuel and those for waters, grey, black and fresh water. What does this mean? It means that in addition to the hull, there are big tanks inside that contain liquids and make the bottom twice as resistant. This also ensures a low centre of gravity. Anche a bassa velocità l'effetto... Even at low speed, the rudder response is very impressive. I have seen the rudders, which are huge. The engines are combined with a V-drive that serves to decrease the inclination in the shaft line, which run inside semi-tunnels. They have been designed to provide the twin propellers with the best wake, which serves to increase efficiency and reduce fuel consumption. Per esempio, siamo a 10 nodi di velocità, il consumo di carburante. For example, we are now at 10 knots of speed and the fuel consumption is about 60 liters per hour. In queste condizioni l'autonomia supera abbondantemente Under these conditions the range is well over 2000 miles. But keep in mind that if you don't need such a long range, you can reduce the capacity of the tanks. Dei serbatoi, ridurre quindi il loro volume e gestire By reducing their volume, this space instead can be used for example in favor of the cabins, increasing their height, which is already significant. Questa timoneria è perfetta perché all'interno non ho al The wheelhouse is designed perfectly because inside there is absolutely no reflection of light thanks to the inverted windshield. This also helps in case of bad weather because the rain will not hit the glass. However, on a beautiful day like today, why not steer from the flybridge? Lo yacht è dotato di un The yacht is equipped with an automatic correction system for the Humphrey active stabilization system. Its longitudinal and lateral stability is perfect. Longitudinale e laterale è perfetta. È attivo lo stabilizzatore giroscopico, ma in realtà The gyro stabilizer is active, but a hull with such a low center of gravity has a very low pitch and roll anyway. 12 nodi. Questa è una velocità ideale. For a yacht like this, 12 knots is the ideal speed. Now the engines are at 1,600 RPM, which is in the middle of the maximum range between 1,200 and 2,100 RPM. Accelero ancora un po' e viro. Now I accelerate a little more and turn, so I can establish the healing angle of this hull. The angle is zero degrees. Non ha perso neanche velocità. I didn't even lose speed, on the contrary. I accelerated and increased the pace. We are at 13 knots now. Obviously now the consumption is a little higher. Now we are at 2,100 RPM with a cruising speed of 15 knots. Tra i modelli di serie, Dominator 28M Illumin... Among all standard models, the Dominator 28m Illumin is certainly one of the most customizable, luxurious and innovative yachts we've ever tried at the boat show.